This is the Hippodrome at Caesarea. It's a place where they used to run Ben-Hur style chariot races. You can see it's a huge oval arena. And behind me, of course, the structures that are there are actually quite recent structures. They're, they're probably made by the Crusaders, maybe the Arabs, maybe some Byzantines at one point had added to that. And the structures kind of impede out into this great big oval uh, track where they used to race horses, chariot style, Ben-Hur style. But one thing that's very important to know here is that the Bible is written in terms that people could understand. And it was done that way very deliberately. Oh, by the way, just really quick, I wanted to turn this around. We happen to be right up against the Mediterranean Sea, which is right here. So you can see we're right next to the ocean. If you're hearing booming and bumping sounds, you're actually hearing waves crashing behind me. So this place had quite a view. But here's what I wanted to point out. When these charioteers won the race, like they did in at least the original Ben-Hur movie, when Judah Ben-Hur wins the chariot race, he eventually ascends up the platform to where the magistrate of the governor would have been sitting, who was watching the race and officiating it. And there the governor would put a laurel wreath crown on his head and he would be crowned as uh, they said in the movie, of course, this is your, their god for the day. That's a very pagan statement. It had nothing to do with being a Jew, of course. But the expression that ascending up those stairs, as it were, to be crowned a victor is an idiomatic expression that you also find in one little portion of Philippians chapter 3. And I'm going to read it to you out of my little Bible right here, where it says, as Paul is writing to the Philippians, not that I have already obtained this or have already been made perfect, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. I haven't finished yet, in other words. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. And that expression, God has called me heavenward, is the same expression that was used by historians about charioteers who would ascend up from the arena to the platform to be crowned by the magistrate or the governor with a laurel wreath crown that you have won the race. That's used right here in the Bible in Philippians chapter 3. And you can read it yourself beginning in verse 12 all the way down to verse 14. It's an expression that when Paul talks about running this race, it may be having to do with running and he's crossing his idioms, which is perfectly all right. Or it could be that this particular passage of scripture is actually a description of a chariot race. And that is also a very real possibility. So here we are at the chariot uh, track here, the Hippodrome in Caesarea, this huge, huge area. And uh, it also, again, every site, every part of this place in Israel tells us a story. And it reminds us of what God did. God bless you. Have a great day.